Hello and welcome to CRA Diecast. I'm Chris. Thanks for dropping by. Really appreciate it. A big shout out to all of my new subscribers that have recently joined the channel. That's amazing. It uh, really helps the channel out and makes uh, the channel grow. Uh, during the week I did a bit of peg hunting and I did uh, pick up uh, quite a substantial amount of diecast from Hot Wheels. There's about, uh, got about 25 castings. So. Our supermarkets and hobby stores are pretty well loaded with latest release Hot Wheels, so I was able to get quite a wide, wide variety of diecast. I did uh, pick up this Jaguar Mark One, which is one I've been really looking to get, and uh, actually I bought three of them. I like it so much. So um, yeah, it looks nice in this battleship grey. So I'll just crack it open. Got a burgundy interior, right hand drive of course, nice style of rims on it, haven't seen these wheels before, nicely decaled, chrome grille and they've put um, tape over the headlamps, obviously this is a rally car, nice chrome bumper, jag ornament above the grille. And this is 2023 release, so yeah, I've been hanging out to get this one. And there was quite a few of this casting on the peg, so I grabbed three. I thought, what the hell? Unfortunately, no decals on the back, but uh, inside profile looks fantastic. So that was a, a great pickup for me. And then I was watching Big Keg's channel, and he had. Um, one there I thought was quite interesting, the Hirohata Merc, so I found that on the peg, so I really like this casting, so I'll crack that open. It's a metallic green, and a teal green at the bottom in the cove. Do like the um, wide white walls on it. Chrome interior, yeah, but that uh, metal flake paint really pops. But it's a real slammed Merc. It's got um, silver painted headlamps, big chrome bumpers, metal body, and plastic base. Release 2023, plastic tyres, got a um, big chrome bumper bar at the back, yeah this is a great casting this one. Yeah nice, oh, they six slotted rims, yeah that's a, a nice pick up, do you like the colour combination of it? Hopefully they'll make more variations of this in the future. And then another one I got from their hot trucks was this Volkswagen Combi, or we, we call it Combi, but they call it a T2. But yeah, I thought this was a nice casting. It's fairly heavy. Metal body but uh, plastic base and I do like that grey, sort of same colour grey as that uh, Jag, very similar. But yeah, this is really slammed too. And that's left hand drive, flat bed. It won't, uh, I don't think it'll fit a, no it won't fit a car on it. But yeah, it's a brown interior, I think, or brown dashboard. Nice Volkswagen symbol on the front. Black bumper bar. And this is 2016. Wow, this has been around a while. 
Never seen this casting before. Although I've only been collecting Hot Wheels seriously for about four years since I've had the channel. But yeah, that's a nice um, pickup truck. I guess you call it a pickup or car transporter. And then from the Compact Kings, I've got this tiny little Fiat 5000. <laughs> it's a nice little casting. I saw that and I thought, gee, that's a cute little casting. So I grabbed that. And a metallic, yeah, it's got some metal flake on the yellow. Big, wide flared wheel arches obviously this is a rally car little red trim rings around the wheels it's got the hood open at the back with that little four cylinder engine I would guess I'm not sure if it's on it like could be a supercharged nice left hand drive 2023 another new release but uh, nothing on the front but a little bit of Chrome on the crest of the front could fix that up and touch up the headlamps. Like the checkerboard flag effect on the roof. But yeah, it's a cute little bus, that one. Tiny. And it's got a chrome interior as well. And I did pick up a, another compact king it's a 73 honda civic custom and that's another tiny little thing also in yellow but uh, just a non-metallic yellow black interior five slotted rims a little bit of a rear deck wing uh, black interior and no headlamp details and this is 2022 got a few of the civics but this one's nice got a yeah plastic rear deck wing black bumper bar yeah nicely tempoed nice yellow paint so that was cool And then from their screen time, this is the first Back to the Future DeLorean I've ever had, and this is one with the it's the hover one. The wheels are flat. So crack that open. Yeah, it's called in hover mode. In the flat silver. Yeah, it's a nice looking casting. Strange. DMC on the grill. I thought these had pop up headlights, but they don't. Left hand drive, of course. Nice engine detail in the back. Ooh. Back to the future time machine detail oh. yes, that's a unique one happy to have that one what else oh, then from the J Imports uh, this is Skyline RS KDR 30, you know, metallic green. So this was quite nice. I've got a couple of variations of this in blue, and then I think I've got a charcoal black one. Actually, Hot Wheels are making these packaging easier to get the cars out. You don't have to really tear through the back. They just unglue at the side, which is great. So I was put them back in the case afterwards it's a nice green metallic it's got uh, multi-spoke rims nice red trim rings 
This one's right hand drive. Uh, oh, yeah, it's got lens headlamps, part of the windshield assembly. A bit of body cladding down the bottom. And they've done an excellent job on the tampos at the back, on the brake lamps and turn signals. And this also has a little air deflector on the top of the rear glass. But yeah, that's a really nice casting, really pops in the, with that metallic green. How old is this? 2017, made in Malaysia. Yeah, that's nice, really happy to have this casting. I've got quite a few of the JDMs. And another JDM Skyline, this is a GTR BCN R33 from their J Imports. We like this one. Pearlescent white, I think. Is there? Oh, yeah, a little bit of sparkle in the paint. I do like the grey rims. Godzilla logo on the side. Big rear deck wing. And this is. I can't see if it's. Oh, yeah, I think it's right hand drive. It's got a lip spoiler down the bottom. Nicely tempoed brake lamps. Tinted glass all the way around, that's why it's hard to tell if it's right or left hand drive. If it's Japanese, it would be right hand drive. But yeah, I did like the choice of rims on it. You can see the um, disc brakes, or yeah, the disc, disc through the, um, the rims. And this is 2017. But yeah, that's a nice casting, that. And then I've got another J Imports, this is a Honda Civic, 1992, bright red, and we'll crack that on it. There's a sunroof on the top, right hand drive, chrome rims. Tinted glass all the way around, tempoed headlamps, twin mirrors, but uh, well they could have tempoed the back because it looks like a little bit of darker red on the brake lamps towards instead of the body colour. 2021, but yeah it's a nice casting. Nice choice of wheels on it. Leave that with a little Civic. And we got the, also from the J Imports, the Mazda MX-5 in this nice green. treasure hunt of one of these a few years ago. This one's got white walls. Right hand drive with a big blob of a steering wheel. The tinted front glass. Nicely tempoed. Nice colour paint. Roll cage in the back. Nothing on the rear. 2015 release. Yeah, it's really nice that one. This is about the third or fourth variation I've got. So I'm really happy to have that one. Let's put that with the skylines. And I got the Mitsubishi P3 
Pajero Evolution in like a bronze. That looks nice as well. I saw this show in the horn. I think MD the Gaspies channel showed it. This is 2022 release, but um, yeah, it's nice bronze metallic. Got a bit of metal flake in there. Nice wheels, off road, rally art logo on the side. Twin mirrors. I guess here yeah, it's front end drive. Nicely decab headlamps and indicators. Skid plate at the front. Spare wheel carrier on the rear tailgate. And it's got uh, mud flaps front and rear. And that big centre pillar <laughs> looks ugly. But all in all, it's a nice casting. 2022. Yeah, there's the front. And what else have I got? Heap of stuff. Oh, I did pick up the um, Ford GT40 from their factory fresh. I do like this one. I think MD, like Aspie's channel, showed this one as well. Everyone shows the same sort of stuff. Sorry if you've seen it before. But I do like this casting and some blue metallic. Nice choice of wheels. Tinted glass. Engine detail at the back. Eight cylinder. Lift up doors. Pop up headlights, I think. I'm not sure if these are pop up headlights or not. Nice grill work down the bottom. Plain rear end, but this is 1999. Oh my god. First release and reissued 2019. Wow. Got a, quite a few of these in the collection. Do like this one. And I got the old 72 Stingray Corvette convertible from their factory fresh. I do like this casting as well. It looks nice in this bright red chrome interior. Yeah, this has got the headlights in the up position. And it actually got headlamp details in there. Are they tempo? No, they're probably plastic, part of the windshield. Stingray script on the front fender. Yeah, I like the old Corvettes. It's one of my favourite era of Corvettes from the 70s, early 70s. Painted tail lamp detail. Chrome bumper, Stingray in the number plate. Twenty twenty two, Chrome rocker panel mouldings. Yeah, this is awesome. I love this one. And then from their modified series, the BMW M three wagon. This is great, it's a two-door wagon, which is unusual. I didn't think BMW made a two-door wagon. <coughs> Again, in that sort of metal flake blue. Do like the wheels on it. Tinted glass, driver's window part way down. Left hand drive. Let me get this right. 
Okay, 2023, so brand new twin side mirrors. And I think they're inserted brake lamps as well. They look like plastic. They're not tampoed. Yeah, this is a great looking wagon. Got quite a few BMWs in the collection. Um, is that uh, plastic headlamps? Could be. Yeah, this is great, great casting, this one. I do really like this one. Yeah, awesome. And they got the Audi 90 Quattro from their Turbo Series as well. It's in a metallic blue or purple. Yeah, probably blue. Nice. Really lowered. It's like a purple metallic, or yeah. nice aero disc rims, body cladding down the bottom, big wing. Tiny little side mirrors, hood vents, one single windshield wiper at the front, and it's left hand drive. Painted headlamps, nice Audi rings on the front grille, diffuser at the bottom. Oh, you can see the part of the engine in the back, I guess. Well, I thought the engine was in the front. Well, this is modified, so it could be anything. Flared um, wheel arches, big rear deck wing. Driver's protection mesh in the door. But yeah, I do like this very much. Brilliant casting from Hot Wheels. And this is 2022. And another Audi from their Hot Wheels Turbo 87 Quattro in bright red. Copyright 2023. Yes, yeah, gorgeous this one. Chrome rims, Audi rings on the door. This is left hand drive. Hood vents, twin mirrors, and little smoked glass all the way around. Nothing on the back, just a Another windshield wiper detail on the back glass. Could be. But yeah, nicely done front end. Quattro on the number plate. And tempered headlamps. Yeah, this is a really nice casting. Looks great in that three quarter rear view. Little square. Oh yeah, that's a, a brilliant new casting. <coughs> I'm running out of space. And then another Audi from their factory fresh in teal blue. And I've got another one from their factory fresh in um, red as well. So that was the two from this series. I'll open up the blue one. Yeah, it's a metallic blue. That's the same 
on uh, different rims, but uh, nice front end details, left hand drive, twin rear view mirrors and um, roof rails on the roof, big uh, wind deflector on the rear tailgate, and oh, a nice job on the rear end, well done. Twenty twenty release. Oh yeah, this is a nice little wagon. Had a soft spot for the Audi, so I've quite a few Audis in my collection as well. Hot oh, wheels seem to make quite a few of them. Oh, it's got a lip spoiler at the front, body cladding down the side. So yeah, that's a nice wagon. I won't open the red one because it's the same, just a different colour. And I did um, also from the factory fresh a 911 Carrera RS 2.7 in this nice red because red cars go fast. I've got quite a few of these in my collection as well. I do like this one. Nice Carrera decal on the side. Nice rims, with a two, four, five slotters, chrome trim rings, windshield wiper details on the glass, and only one rear view mirror, but uh, nicely done front end. Yes, yeah, nice colour red, like a pepper red. Grill work on the engine compartment and a big rear deck wing. How old is this one? 2022, oh, that's fairly new. Last year. Oh, you can see, oh, good, good detail in there. You can see the gear shifter there, quite distinct. And red floor, carpet, I guess. Yeah, that's a good job. I never picked that up before. Yes, this is a great casting, this one. Alright, 30, oh, 27 minutes. This will be my last one. I'll show the rest on a, another video. But um, it was quite a haul, so I'm really happy with the that Jag and the Merc and the Volkswagen, the little Fiat, and then a the couple of Civics, the DeLorean. Couple of Skylines, the Mazda, Mitsubishi, Ford GT, the Vet, that beautiful BMW, that gorgeous Audi, and I do like this red one. And then the blue Audi and the red Porsche. So once again, thanks for dropping by. If you appreciate this video, hit the thumbs up and share and subscribe. Subscription is free, doesn't cost you anything. And it does um, help me out getting these videos out there. So once again, thanks very much and bye for now.